Welcome to the Battle Cats 10.8. Let's have a look at the new shenanigans, beginning with, of course, a rare ticket. They're finally back, eh? That's right, news. There's an update. Um, oh, yeah, several taps got us there eventually. The gauntlet map battle cooldowns can be shortened by using ketamines. Now, truth be told, I don't actually know what gauntlet stages are because I'm an old man now who remembers the good old simple days of battle cats. I'm on FXP for the next thing. So into that once again. Let's do some aura. I don't know why it's taken a really long time. It's baffling. But being able to use Catamin sounds exciting because it's connecting little bits of the game together, making them more interdependent and layered. Tap the greyed out gauntlet map nameplate for the chance to use your Catamin A's to access the map again with less weight. But yeah, I, I like that. A new use of things. And we know that Matador Cat has a true form, which we'll certainly look at. And it's been given talents as well. And an Aku trait, which on the JP update notes is known as the Devil trait. If this is the same thing, this intrigues me. Like the kind of EN audience and app stores and keywords and things like that, it wouldn't do well to have Devil in it. So it's given us a kind of Japanese cultural term for spookiness and devilry instead. There's a new Uncanny Legends map added, which you know of course I won't be able to look at. Gosh, he's so far behind. <laughs> it makes me so sad. Apparently, this one has Legend Unit stages, but redone, which sounds brilliantly exciting. The final stage in the new Uncanny Legends has all five of the Legend remake Legends before it, the ones within the yellow stories of Legend, and a devil enemy. So that's where they're going to be introduced in the Uncanny Legends. And to much chagrin of the community, the filibuster theme. I'm not going to get there anytime soon, so we're not going to embark on a quest to get there, but when we do eventually, should be exciting. And of course, user rank rewards! Woo! New cat combos added, which on the App Store notes says revised combo effects and summer break cats stages revised. I can't even think what they were. But anyway, you know what we've also got on this update? Research missions. We've got some more missions. Uh, the first mission being to find missions because I haven't gone to it in so long. But here they are. Empress's Research 1, Heretical Spellbooks, Clear Arcane Confluence, and Wicked Cat. These must be the devil things, I assume. Research 2, Agents of Aku, Clear, Servant of Darkness, and Wicked Tank. Uh, yes, crazed variants of the devil type. Very exciting, really. Matador, Matador, where art thou? Is it you? Yes, it's you. Good song. Evolve into Belly Dance Cat. <laughs> Ooh, uh, oh, I like that a lot. If I'm honest with you, I always wanted to be a belly dancer. Let's just evolve it. I've got to keep my cat fruit off the cap, so I'm very happy to do that. I can't remember how rare the epic cat fruit seeds were, because to me that's really new, and I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I should know about these things, really, but it's just coming so thick and fast, it just confuses me now. Anyway, Supreme Virtuoso of An Vigorous Beautiful Dance. <laughs> Unit description apparently written by Jeremy Clarkson. A glittering veil and hypnotic movements help her confuse enemies and dodge red attacks. Well, great. There's also talents. Don't we know it? Target Aku. Oh my god, the enemy trait. It's blue. Reminding me of the obscure BBFC age rating for dodgy films. <laughs> I'm glad a unit immediately has an ability that can go against that trait because I remember the utter miserable pain of when zombies were new and we had only but Holy Valkyrie Cat to deal with the zombie cyclone. And although you may rush to say you are fine with that, I was most certainly not. You don't do that to someone. Like, who designed this level? We've also got slow. 30% chance of slow from 0.8 seconds to 2 seconds, depending on how upgraded your talent is. Resist freeze, 16 to 70% chance. Defense buff, 2 to 20% HP increase. And an undescribed attack increase. God, I was beginning to sound intelligent reading from notes there, but uh, they're not my notes, so it's all a bit of a fraud. 
Link in the description to the notes. Oh, the height of sadness indeed. I no longer have a lovely flush row of enemy types because you spilled onto the third row. There's so many of them already. You don't need any more. Relic's too new. Anyway, here we are, Aku, with, you know what, here, a much nicer blue. In fact, I'm in love with that gradient. That's fantastic. I like that very much indeed. So along with this new Aku or Devil variant, we have a new ability. This one here, Shield Piercing. Attacks have set chance to nullify Aku shields and deliver huge damage. So yeah, they seem to be a little bit kind of like Breaker Blast Barriers, which makes me think, like... Ugh, I don't know, I, I kind of would have preferred the Breaker Blast shield to just be developed into a wider concept spanning different enemy types than having another type of shield kind of complicate things. I mean, look at this massive, absolute mess of effects and abilities. It's, it, it's completely mental. I can't make head nor tail of it sometimes. It's difficult to find even your classic effects and abilities and traits. So, yeah, I think it would have been nice to keep it within one thing, but I know people will probably disagree with me there, loving the new shenanigans. Let me know what you think. Would you have liked it to be an extension of barriers, or do you like your new thing, which is different in the sense that they regenerate upon a damage knockback? Which, you know, I, I won't lie, I do find incredibly intriguing. Let's see if anything I have can do that. No. Let's see if anything I have can do that. Well, yes, of course. Things that can target anything, such as Healer, Jamira, which is kind of cheating. Uh, your Legends, Stormatoge, Slugcat, Cyberpunk. So let's, for example, look at here. And there we go, an even fatter series of enemy traits to add to the little menu, which is kind of pushing my symbols off very far to the left. Not very centrally justified, but kind of still looks fine. It, it's all right. Professor Cat Jobs, Kronos, Ultraman, the Ultraman, Baby Gal, Matama. I think we'll know where we'll be traveling if we uh, if we have any difficulty with Aku's early on. Cheers, Mitty. Come on then, I've teased you long enough. User rank rewards, ladies and gentlemen. Here they come. And they're all right? Huh. Okay. So allegedly, the change in the combos is this one here, Little Warriors. This combo now doesn't have Masai Cat in it, though weirdly, I don't remember it being there. I'll leave you all to philosophise upon that. This is update 10.8. God, version 11 soon, probably. Version 11. How to make a man feel old, honestly. I was a boy when I started. <coughs> I'm dead. God, now we're getting into meditations on being old. I'll get out before it gets any worse. See you all later. Hope you enjoyed. Or as an Aku would say, uh... <laughs>